Hey guys, Rob out here at I'm always in hotwater.com on actually a beautiful day in June of 2016 and uh, we have a nice little light breeze coming through so uh, it's going to keep us comfortable for probably about another 45 minutes and that's about it. Uh, but I, I, I got to tell you, I got something pretty spectacular out here. I'm pretty excited about it and I hope you are too. Uh, if you're in the market for a cruiser and um, I have a really, really nice one. In fact, I am going to deem it in excellent condition. Um, but once again, don't take my word for it. Hire a mechanic, hire a survey. I implore you to do as such. Uh, but I have zero issues uh, with this Bayliner 245. It's actually a 2005 with a 5.7 liter, quick on the water, uh, fuel efficient. And uh, this was actually a fresh water boat up until nine months ago. It only ha it has less than 50 hours on salt water, if that. And in addition, uh, the boat's probably, without the uh, gauge, the uh, previous owner, this is a, a, a the second owner, uh, probably 200 or less hours. So we're gonna call this around 250 or less uh, on this vessel, well-maintained, well-serviced. So uh, just to give you the crux of the matter, two more things, uh, no trailer conveyed in the sale. So if you're going to another marina, uh, get it chipped or we can help you find a trailer. And we do have bottom paint on the boat uh, that was just put on uh, about nine months ago. Just a quick note, the, uh, there's uh, generally a diver on the boat. We do have some growth. The seller is gonna convey, they're gonna have a diver come out before sale and clean up the boat so we have a smooth sea trial and you have a clean boat uh, for your turnkey ready situation to hit a sandbar near you. Now, uh, the reason why I'm starting on starboard side of the vessel is so you can kind of see, see how clean and buffed out that uh, particular paint is and then as you get back with where you see the sun fading because the sun is actually hitting uh, on this side during the days, that will actually buff right out. As you can see, uh, the seller had the boat maneuvered to a point to where he could get to that point and in fact bought a raft so he could get over there and clean it up but hasn't quite done it yet. But anyway, no worries there. She's super clean, fresh bottom paint. She's going to get dived on because uh, in this marina there is a little bit of growth and uh, I'm going to now get to the nuts and bolts and really just show you, show you guys something really nice. As you guys can see as you're walking with me first couple people that see this I will take the shaking this out and editing so if you have seizure meds take them if you're watching this and the camera's shaking all right you guys take a look bay liner super clean you got one little nick over here and probably tiny tiny little marks but overall I haven't been able to find anything obviously I can't expect under inspect underneath the vessel because we're in the water although I have the GoPro to dive on the boat I am just not in the mood so anchor looks real nice. I just want you guys to also see the material is in excellent condition. Full cover set, full canopies, brand new zippers, and in fact the isinglass that encloses the whole vessel is also in excellent condition. Everything is in excellent condition. I'm not calling the boat Bristol. Um, it's not above average. It's not in good condition. It is in excellent condition. Just so you can see. Probably a tiny bit of buffing. Once the diver's off the boat, you are good to go. And as I move forward into the vessel, the stern, here we go. You guys can just take a quick look. Try to make sure the GoPro is angled right for you too as well. For some people, the GoPro's for your HD version and those of you who can't support that format, I have this regular version, but I apologize, it's gonna be a little grainy. Just so you guys can see, the upholstery is exactly as it should be this if I didn't tell you this was a 2005 and I just walked in you wouldn't know if this was a 2010 to a 2014 model due to the condition of this upholstery as you can see the carpet is in excellent condition me I'm not a carpet guy I generally take it out um, but as you can see you are good to go there storage up underneath as you guys can see you gonna go back and forth here I'm gonna move that this actual seat will pop up as you can hear the stereo works this vessel also has a low rants LMS 520 C 
and all of the gauges are new. Okay, you see you already have a depth finder on the boat as well as your Lowrance. Those are all brand new gauges. Uh, when the seller picked up this boat, they just went all new. Remember, this was a freshwater boat, and when I show you the engine, it is gonna blow your mind. As I walk into the cabin, now let me be clear. Fenders and lines will be conveyed with the boat. Not all personal items will be included, as you can see. For example, uh, the vodka through the tequila and the scotch will be going with the seller. Um, so just keep that in mind. Keep in mind also, this vessel has shore power with air conditioning. Shore power cords, everything is in available. Uh, they come with the boat. The interior smells like brand new. No leaks, no signs of mold, nothing. Is as if new. Let me just try to get both cameras going. She is a beauty. You are turnkey. Even the bag, all the manuals, everything itemized, maintenance logs, radio logs, vessel inventory, original. Now, as you move into this aft area, there's the eyes and glasses you can see. Everything has all new zippers and we're clean. Now once again, you know, get your own pillows and blankets and everything else. And you guys can also see in there more of the eyes and glass. Everything has been stowed, very well taken care of. We're fresh and clean. As we move into the head area, once again, in excellent condition. Clean and neat and proper. She is just a beautiful boat. and you will enjoy it. Now, let me just kind of bounce up. All right, now generally these models, when they were built, standard on the boats was 5.0 liter. The preferred version for the engine is going to be 5.7 liter, and that's exactly what we have in here, about 260 horsepower. I will tell you this, it is an extremely quick boat, quicker than you think. And in fact, when you get on sea trial, you will see that. Once again, offers, reasonable offers will be considered on an offer sheet. Sea trials and inspections don't happen unless the boat is under contract. Mercruiser, 5.7 liter, fresh water up until a few hours ago, basically. And as you guys can see, this engine looks like new. You can actually get down in here and probably have lunch and not get anything on your food. And in fact, since we're here with the hatch open, I'm trying to keep the shakiness out, but you gotta just crank her up for you. Beautiful. I mean, even the pulleys look like brand new. Hoses, clamps, manifolds and risers, everything. Basically, salt water has barely touched this engine. Now, as I close this exterior hatch, you guys can see just at idle, she's extremely quiet. And also on the water, uh, very little noise. So anyway, that's going to be about it out here on this 2005 Bayliner 245 SB. Excellent condition. The seller is just simply upgrading to a different and a bigger boat. And, um, you know, they want a little bit more room on the deck, if that's even possible, although the cabin does suffice. So anyway, Rob out here in beautiful Hilton Head Island, wishing you guys a great and safe boating day.